So after the warm-up in the previous video, we're ready for the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. There are actually two parts to the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, and we're going to do the second part first. So let me remind you of what we were looking at in the previous video. We were looking at cumulative area functions. that had the form f of x is equal to the integral from some number to x. In the examples we did, we were going from 0 to x. Uh, another function, f of t. Just to make it a little bit more flexible, I am going to put a c down there, because it doesn't necessarily have to be 0. And we did two examples. We found that the integral from 0 to x of t was equal to 1 half x squared. And we also learned that the integral from 0 to x of t squared was a third x cubed. So if we call this first function at big F of x, Something that you probably have noticed is that the derivative of this function, the derivative of a half x squared, is just x. And if this were my function, f of x, the derivative of this function, the derivative of one third x cubed, is just x squared. Look at the relationship here. The derivative of big F of x is the same as the integram, just with a t replaced with an x. Here, the derivative of this cumulative area function is the same as the integram, t squared, just with a t replaced with x. So that suggests the general fundamental theorem of calculus part 2. which says this. If big F of x is the integral from c to x of little f of t, then big F of x prime is equal to little f of x. The derivative of the cumulative area function is the same as the function inside, just with that t replaced by x. Now, the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 is mostly used for theory, but it's actually really important in theory. Notice that another way of saying this is that big F of x is an antiderivative. Of little f of x. So given a function f, if you want to find an antiderivative of it, one way to do that is by finding its cumulative area function. So for a couple of quick examples, if big f of x were equal to the integral from 3 to x of the square root of 1 plus t squared, then the derivative of that function would be what you get if you replace the t's in the integrand with x. So the square root of 1 plus x squared. So to take the derivative of a cumulative area function, to replace the t's in the integrand with x. For another example, if you had f of x is equal to the integral from 1 to x of t squared over t squared plus 4, then when you take the derivative, all you have to do is replace the t's in the integrand with the x. 
So the derivative of this function, big F, is equal to x squared over x squared plus 4. In the next video, I'll give you some more examples of this fundamental theorem of calculus part 2.